V1. back to this episode today is a very special day in december so now it's 5 30 a.m in the morning i already got ready for the flight today is my first flight experience to do a ferry flight for 737 900 er from indonesia to san bernardino so i depart from jakarta to guam and we have a review a stop over there and we continue to Honolulu, get a layover, enjoying the beach and continuing to San Bernardino. So this will be a great experience for me and I'm going to share with you uh, how's the flight and what you can learn from this video. Hopefully you're going to enjoy this trip. So I'm on the way to the airport. It's about um, 20 minutes to Skarnohara in Jakarta. This is early morning, No, not much people here, but somehow people already wake up and go to work. A lot of motorcycle here in Indonesia, so not that much uh, car traffic, but yeah, we have to go there early. I want to buy some food because this will be a very long flight. So my first leg will be from Jakarta to Guam. It's about five hours, five and a half hours, and then we will uh, stop for a review. Um, get some food over there uh, we already uh, get the great food from the ground handling and after that we will continue to uh, Honolulu Airport that will be like six to seven hours flight over the water um, after reach at Honolulu we will stay overnight in Honolulu that will be the first entrance to the United States so we're gonna clear all the immigration with the TSA uh, with the Homeland Security and the next day we'll go direct to San Bernardino Airport all right guys so um, let's get going uh, see you there in Skarnohara it takes 15 to 20 minutes for me to get to the airport Skarnohara International is the biggest airport in Indonesia there are three terminals and today we'll travel to terminal 3 this is the newest terminal for overseas departure now we're already here in Skarnohara Airport terminal 3 gate 3 so I'm waiting with my friend here and he will be arriving for maybe 30 minutes from now and I'm going to the gate 3 and we'll get ready to take my GD, the general declaration because this is international flight settled with all the COVID-19 protocol All international flight will be departed from Terminal 3 Sukarno Hara, Jakarta since the COVID-19 pandemic, this new terminal has very little traffic and we are now really happy to see more and more people start traveling overseas. Let's buy some food for 7 hours flight to Guam. I'm going to discuss a little bit about our flight today. This is the load seat and also the flight plan, fuel, trip and everything that they give us. So you can also see that in your screen, right? So this will be from Jakarta to Guam. So here we are again in Terminal 3, uh, International Airport, Skarnohara, Jakarta. Based on this flight plan, we have a 6 hours, 24 minutes fuel for the trip. Um, the distance is about 2,697. Let, let's talk about 2,700 uh, miles, right? The alternate fuel, we got 40 minutes. Uh, we have reserves, so our remaining fuel will be around 2,600 plus. Uh, when we reach in Guam, so I'm gonna put reserve 2.6. The cruise cost index is 20, and total fuel today is 17,000 ton. We got plenty of uh, fuel, and the takeoff weight today is 59.9 um, tons, so it's about 60 tons. Very light for 737-900ER, and the landing weight estimate will be 46 tons. All right, the food is ready. Thank you very much. Good. Okay, so now we're going to the airplane. Everything is completed. 
flatline GD or printed. I'm so excited. <laughs> Now we are escorted to the immigration and it's about 10 minutes to walk to the ramp transport. So here we are, we're going to the airplane now, to the transport. And this is my partner, Captain Daddy here. Hi. Hi. This is my first time to depart as an active flight crew from Tsukarnohara Airport. The ground handling Gaburang Angkasa provides comfy minivan from Terminal 3 to Terminal 2. The airplane parks on a remote area on Delta Gate on Terminal 2. As per today, Terminal 1 is still closed during the pandemic and all domestic flights depart from Terminal 2 start from gate D to F. Here we are. We're gonna fly the 900ER X Batik Air airplane. Hello, Pak. Hello, Pak. Wow. Woohoo! Let's go to the airplane first and then do the pre-flight, preparing all the camera for you guys. Okay. Hello. Pagi. Pagi. Yep. Whoa, cabin crew-nya udah lengkap. <laughs> Alright, so this is the new office. 615, 1315, we're We do a little pre-flight here, make sure everything good. I want to see the engine, no damage at all. So now we're going to the right side, the nose. At the left nose area, I'm looking at the captain, pedal, and angle of attack indicator and make sure there is no flag or any remove before flight cover. This is very crucial walk around items. In the nose wheel compartment, I want to make sure there's no flag, foreign object, struts is good, no pin installed, and the scissor perfectly connected and no leak. The nose wheel steering disconnect from the hydraulic. Again, on the right nose section, I check the co-pilot pedal to make sure no flag or anything improper, including the static port, must be clean from any foreign object. So we need to double check as well on the right engine. Make sure the engine fans are smooth, no damage or dent. After checking the right engine, I'm looking at the ram air door and the deflected door for the air conditioning and the pack system. Make sure free of any clock and foreign objects like bird nest and any other mechanic tools that may be left over there. Inside the right main gear wheel well, we're looking at any leaks from hydraulic reservoir loose cable and finally the APU fire protection system indicated by the green light and make sure the switches and indication normal. Okay, so refueling in progress now, let's go to the APU side. We are also look for the outflow valve and the APU door to make sure all normal, no obstructed and no foreign object on the negative relief valve. We also check the static wicks are in place at the horizontal stabilizer. Now, let's move to the empennage part. I'm looking to the vertical and horizontal stabilizer rather than elevator. Make sure no ding, dent, bird strike, and pitot on the vertical stabilizer is good since the elevator field computer relies on that pitot. On the left wheel well, I'm looking for any leaks from the hydraulic reservoir and any loose cables, also any foreign objects that may be left over inside the wheel well. And make sure IDG all access all secure. And all the flip are done, and let's go to the cockpit and get ready for the flight. Get a clearance. Already in the airplane, very nice 737-900ER and I'm getting ready to the cockpit and hope you enjoy the flight. San Romeo 55, we receive whiskey. Request clearance to uh, Guam, flight level 3900. Victor Papa Charlie Fox Rotting, go clear to Papa Golf Uniform Mike, flight whiskey 15, flight level 290, initial, sunbelt level 390, scope number 7147, SID Egoko to Delta, departure to 5 uh, clear to destination, uh, Papa Golf Uniform Mike, initially uh, 290, whiskey 15, 
runway 25 right, I go go to Delta on Skok 7147. Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, Tango. Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, Tango. Read the correct, thought expired at 0050, push back 121 decimal 6. Oke, okay, kita brief cap ya. Alright, so today's flight to Guam from stand Romeo 55. There will be two POB and then um, we gonna push and start. Start during the push. Start sequence number two using APU bleed and take off with the flaps five. Normal takeoff power. Okay, standby on the takeoff speed. The departure RNF SID Eguco 2 Delta for runway 25 right. Airborne heading 248, check 248, 248, 248. And then turn right, UPNAV. After UPNAV, heading 023 Ajuna at or above 4000. Then at Ajuna, turn right 082. All the way to Eguco and join Whiskey 15. So we're gonna use all LNAF and VNAF, UPNAF, Ajuna, Nabil, yep. all the way to Eguko as published. Okay, and yep, right. set takeoff thrust before 60 knot, monitor engine instrument, flood instrument recall panel, any malfunction between 0 to 80 knots, any lights, and any un abnormal situation, I'm gonna abort the takeoff. I close the power, thrust reverse, maintain directional control, and speed brake. You're gonna monitor the speed brake and thrust reverse deployment. Any fire, memory item on the ground, we're gonna stop and any recall items, you do the recall items. And we're gonna notify the tower as they have any fire. If any fire, we do evacuation. Okay. Any malfunction between 80 knots to V1, we're gonna stop for four reasons engine fire, lost directional control, runway incursion, flat tire, or any abnormal and you're not convenient we're gonna stop after v1 we have abnormal condition i will continue take off positive rate gear up read back flaps on schedule if immediate action required it will be done air above 400 feet if we have memory items you're gonna identify what happened with the engine after 400 but we're gonna settle the problem after 1000 feet uh, request maintain run we're heading 3000 and hold at current position um, any, mal uh, any memory items, you're gonna deal with the memory items, I fly the airplane. And after everything set up stable, we can uh, ask back for LS25 flight back to Skarahada. The weather is good, I don't see any um, had, uh, hazardous weather, the visibility and ceilings looks good. I guess it's all about minimums. No no temps. Do you have any no temps? No temps, not significant. Weather and road, uh, all the way cloudy until... Check. Uh, all right, so we monitor weather radar. So any cabin altitude warning, we do the memorandum. I will review a little bit. Uh, put the oxygen mask here, and then establish crew communication, and you're gonna set to manual, close the alpha valve. If that controllable, then we stay or request lower. If not controllable, uh, we do the emergency design stuff. Okay, and our route is above the sea. There's no obstacle, no safe threat. So everything should be okay. Any more question? Okay, additional briefing. So, uh, total distance is just cross check 2681 is 2697 cross check. Yeah, fuel arrival is 6.5, okay. required is 2.7 only. It's a lot of fuel and lot level fuel. 390, and we can take directly 390. Yeah, yeah. and uh, additional here also, I could have fixes to fix anything happen. We just hold at hold loopbacks. Loop okay, okay. Yeah. and this sector from airport only. Right. Check. So take zero thing is as brief. No okay, you see up there. All right, guys. So welcome aboard. This is the very flight from Jakarta, Skarnahara, straight to Guam and Honolulu. I will be the pilot flying from the left side, and then uh, Captain Dario will be uh, my pilot monitoring. And this will be very fun flight. Um, see you on board. Uh, Victor Papa, Charlie Fox, thank you. Your parking stand, Romeo five five. Request push back and start. Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango, Romeo 55, clear push back and start, heading north, November Charlie 7, now reading you 5. Uh, okay, facing north, November Charlie 7, Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango. Pindon 1275. 1275, Pindon 1273.
Back. Back. Okay, uh, we got a pushback clearance facing north, November, Charlie 7. Clearing for, clearing for pushback, facing north, Charlie. Release brakes. Brake release. Alright. <laughs> Before start checklist. Doors close. Flight deck door. Budget. Yeah. Remain open. Starting pushing back. Check. A fuel uh, 20.5 pumps on. All pumps on. Window heat. All windows locked. MCP. V2 heading altitude. Alright. V2149 heading 249 altitude. Initial 9000. Check. And take us speed V1 PRP2. Alright, uh, V1, 141, 143, or rotate V2, 149, V2, 15, 155. CDO pre-flight. Complete, LNAV, V9 from my side. Rather than LRAN 3. Zero. Zero. Chest. Okay. And taxi, take off, briefing. Completed, we expect North November Charlie 7 from Apron D. And yeah, go to Sierra Papa 1 and Sierra 1, stand by for clearance. Uh, ground, are we clear for start? Okay, yep. go ahead, start engine and monitor. Okay, we start number 2. Number 2, start and monitor. Start call focus. And 1, rotation. When we clear to start in 737NG, we wait until the N2 rotates to 25% before we put the engine start lever to idle. After that, we want to make sure that there is no hung or hot start within 15 seconds after we put the engine start lever to idle. When the EGD rises significantly and hit the red limit, the memory item is aboard to start by putting the affected engine start lever back to cutoff position. 15 seconds looks normal. The engine starter will automatically cut out at 56%. If not, do it manually. We are then looking to the N1, EGD, and N2 indicator to make sure the start process is perfectly complete and stable, then we can start the other engine. So, full open check pressure. Engine number one, N1 rotation. Ground to go fit, push back, complete, parking brake set. Papa Gis, continue right November, Papa 1, Kilo 1, 6. Papa Gis, Papa 2, Two, five, six. Okay. Good. Okay, disconnect everything. Okay, we will disconnect everything and wait sign from the left. Have a nice flight and start again. Terima kasih. Thank you. Uh, Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango request taxi. Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango to Fafra Charlie Seven Papa Two. Charlie 7, oh, Papa 2, pick up Papa Charlie, hold the tango. Before taxi, make sure you got a big picture of the taxi routing area. Note the taxi instruction and brief it properly with the airport diagram. You can always ask your pilot monitoring to double check the taxi routing and speed. 10 to 15 knots taxi speed is good to apply, and I recommend a moving map like 4 flight to support our situation awareness. Victor Papa Charlie Fox Rotengo, contact 1182. 1182 Victor Papa Charlie Fox Rotengo. Sudah tahu Victor Papa Charlie Fox Rotengo, good morning. Good morning, Victor Papa Charlie Fox Rotengo, can you take hold of point 25 right? I continue holding point 25 right, Victor Papa Charlie Fox Rotengo. Okay, departure briefing to 5 right, continue take off and then right turn. Okay. November Papa 2, the next one, yeah? 
Approaching holding point to five right, Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango. Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango, uh, standby Hosafa holding point to five right. Okay, hold short to five right, Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tango. Ferry juga tuh putih pesawatnya. Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tingo behind Bung 738 on short final landing passing dan Yulena Pranley to Fox Track behind prepare for immediate Ego Code to Delta Covid driving landing passing, Mana Van Wade and Ego Code to Delta Covid Victor Papa Charlie Fox Tingo Verify runway heading 25 Victor Papa Charlie Fox Rotengo to Fast Track Club for Tegel Actually for Tegel to Fast Track, Victor Papa Charlie Fox Rotengo Okay 40% Runway clear Check Toga And one heading slate Toga, set the controls Guys, we already passing flight level one to zero now, and we're fly to Rati. So after that, we're going to Idrin and continue to Eguko to, uh, to Delta departure. Estimate at uh, Guam will be zero seven five two, which is six five hour six five six hours from now. All right, hope you enjoy. The departure pace was completely as planned, and the weather is looking good. We're climbing to our final altitude at flight level 390 and get ready for the typhoon impact around Philippine area. Alright guys, so here we are, we are just over Balikpapan and uh, it's already almost 2 hours flight. The weather is looking good, a little bit bumpy here. We are at flight level 390. And expected to reach Guam is about 0801 Zulu, and now we're at 0325. Yeah, everything is really great today. And two hours, we already use about 5.2 tons. It's pretty much as expected. It's even lower the fuel, well, fuel consumption now. Okay, so another. Uh, it's about 3 to 4 hours, think, yeah, it's another 4 hours flight and we're gonna reach Guam, guys. Alright guys, so we got a moderate turbulence over here because we are around the typhoon in Philippines so the procedure is uh, you, you just decrease your speed to the turbulent penetration is about 0.76 ma at this time and I put the engine ignition to continue to make sure that your ignition continuously give a power to your engine, right? And this flight will be almost all the way to Guam uh, we got this kind of light to moderate turbulence due to the typhoon and we do the best to avoid all that um, clouds or even the area or the zone of the typhoon we're using the weather radar 
and make sure that we separate about 30 to 40 miles from the south of the typhoon uh, because that's a pretty much a big typhoon so it's could still have an impact for us okay so that's a little experience then you fly the 737 you got the turbulence reaches your speed and you may want to adjust your ignition system all right so let's continue to fly The cell call alerts indicate that we are established to waste communication with the Oakland through high frequency radio. Talking in the HF radio, we need to continuously report our position when we reach the waypoint and also our estimate time arrival from the next point. All right, so we just call Oakland radio through the HF and we got a SoCal identification. Uh, now we're established communication with the United States. It is another three hours for our top of descent. Um, everything looks good. The weather is, is blue sky everywhere. That will be a great and fun flight to Guam. Here's Papa Charlie, Fox Flat Tango, squawk 2115. Okay, squawk 2115 coming up. Alright, uh, we ready for the briefing. Um, no, no temps. Stand by for 80s. No arrival, expect radar factor. Landing weight estimates about 49.8. Uh, the VREF 1 to 4. Uh, VREF plus 5 is 1 to 9. Okay, we're gonna shoot ILS localizer runway 06 right at Guam International. The frequency 110.9, 110.9. Stand by, I'll set mine 110.9. Um, approach course 063, 063. Runway landing was 06 right is 10,000 feet. Estimate round, uh, runway landing for today will be around four to 5,000 maximum. Expect radar factor to MIMKI, that will be initial approach fix. At Mimki will be 3,000 or above and then descend. Tango, radar contact 20 miles northeast of Pigsa. Clear direct Mimki, expect the ILS from a 6 right approach. Okay, position confirmed direct to Mimki uh, for ILS 6 right. Victor Papa Charlie, Fokto Tango. So at Mimki will be descending, heading 063 to check Mu. Our final approach fix on the ILS on the glide slope interception, the lowest will be 2000. Use India Alpha Whiskey Delta DME when localizer course. In this approach, DME or radar required. Okay, so descending following the glide slope until the DA 603. I'll set my 603. You have 603. When runway not inside, we're going to do miss approach climb to. 2100 then climbing right down to 3000 direct Univom November Zulu Vortex 115.8 Then one one discussion maintain 6000 again the information zero current again your altimeter 2983 and then go to India Alpha Whiskey Delta 14.1 DME and hold the holding entry will be teardrop Outbound heading 213 and coming intercept inbound heading 063. Just in case glide slope fail, we use localizer approach down to uh, I'm gonna use the Sexus DME minimums 980 and continue the approach. Landing feet F30, one more, one, two, three. And up and landing, expect exit at Golf or Juliet, and expect gate to zero or two, one. Let's use auto brake two for land. 83 miles to top of the sand, zero, three, three, eight. Now it's 0727, so it's about 11 minutes for descent. Again, set of space in kilo time, 0654 Zulu, wind 07012, gust 20, visible T10, two clouds at 2600, scattered 3300. 
Temp of 29 and 2.23, altimeter 2982. Mermaid 6 line east, expect an hour of visual approach. Note on Mermaid 06 to left to close for a minute. Okay, information is kilo. Uh, the weather is pretty good. We got clouds at 3,000 scattered and 050 wind. I uh, got about 20, so I'm gonna use wind correction plus 10. The VRAP is 123, so it's about 133 to 135 during the approach. And I already got a India Alpha Whiskey Delta. The DME is 141. It's pretty far DME for yeah, uh, LS. Okay, so let's wait until approach. All right, guys, so we're descending uh, flight level 210 now. I'm using the speed brake because the profile is pretty high, so drag required. Uh, put the speed brake. Then, yeah, all good. We're descending to 6000 and red effector to uh, Memki. 18,000 check. Uh, Magellan 411. 2982. 1787. Uh, approach clearance canceled. Descent to maintain 3000 and. Uh, Depart Figor on a heading of 310. You expect additional vectors for the ILS 6, right? right. VNAV pad, LNAV. Now I activate the VNAV mode and get ready for the vector clearance. Passing flight level 180, I'm ready for radar factor to initial approach fix. Victor, Papa, Charlie, Fox, Red Tango at Mamkey, intercept the localizer, report established. Okay, Mamkey, intercept the localizer for SRB 6, right? Victor, uh, Papa Charlie, Fox, Rotango, actually uh, descend and maintain 3,000. Okay, 3,000, Papa Charlie, Papa Charlie. Well, now we are clear to descend to 3,000 feet. This is the altitude to enter Mimki, our initial approach fix. VNAV descent is engaged, and I'm monitoring the VNAV path profile just in case the speed brake is needed. And uh, Victor, Charlie, Foxtrot, uh, Tango, um, cross Memke, at or above 3,000, cleared ILS, uh, runway 6 right approach. Right. Okay, copy it, Memke, 3,000 or above, uh, clear for ILS 6 right, Victor, Papa, Charlie, Foxtrot, Tango. Got you, 11, clear that time, thank you. Clear for the approach. Papa, Charlie, Fox, Red Tango, information Lima now current, Aganya altimeter 29 or 83, thank you for your help, contact Aganya Tower 118.1, have a good day. 1181 and 2983, copy it, picked up Papa, Charlie, Fox, Red Tango. Flight slope, after, set on, um, 3000. Aganya Tower, picked up Papa, Charlie, Fox, Red Tango, good evening. Victor, Papa Charlie, Fox, Shot Tango, Gantara, Tower, wind 070 at 12, gusting 20, runway 6 right, clear to land. Uh, copy the wind, uh, clear to land, 6 right, Victor, Papa Charlie, Fox, Shot Tango. Clear down. Uh, Victor, Papa Charlie, Fox, Shot Tango, Gantara, Tower, Flight 15, landing chocolates. That means approach altitude. Victor, Papa Charlie Foxtrot Tango, you guys be on the north side today, so plan on either Echo Taxway or all the way down to the end Taxway, Julia. Either way, it's your show. All in 0013, Gus and Julia. Okay, we have, uh, we request Juliet and uh, copy the wind. Uh, uh, copy the wind, uh, request exit, Juliet. Fitzpuff, Charlie, Foxtrot, Tango, you got it, sir. Juliet, you're the only traffic I have landed. Thank you.
minimums. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. Now I'm transitioned to visual and do my best to land the airplane well with 20 knots gusty wind. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Foxtrot Tango, you turn left in Juliet, cross the cliff, ramp 121.6, Okay, Juliet, 126, picked up by Charlie, Foxtrot Tango, take Landing the 737 with 25 knots gusty wind is another level of challenge. I am so glad that the landing was perfect and this flight is beautifully completed. The reserve parking will be at gate 20 and we will stop for one hour to refuel for the next flight to Honolulu. All right, guys, so that's the thing. That's amazing landing. And that was a bumpy and a gusty. We really, really enjoy that. So wait for the next episode. How are we going to transit and continue to Honolulu? Okay guys, so we are finally here in Guam and this is our friend. Hi, Say hi. Ho. Hi, uh, hi, hi. Ho. Right. Okay, so you're a friend of Moana. Yeah. <laughs> friend of Moana. Yes, yeah. <laughs> cool, and then Mo bring us a lot of food and starting with this beautiful fruit and what do you have for we us? We got some uh, the inside there. When you open later on, you take the pictures okay. of the Korean Great. food. Oh, Great. Great. Okay guys, so that's amazing flight. So here we are in Guam. Amazing experience. That's unbelievable. So I would like to share with you the technique and everything. So feel free to drop your email uh, and contact us with this number. So I'm going to make a free webinar regarding how to fly across uh, ocean cross continent and and how to fly like very very long trip from indonesia to the usa what's the preparation what's the trick so after this we're gonna continue to honolulu we're gonna take a break for a while to get a food uh mo already prepared food for us a steak and then korean barbecue and we will do some free flight here for the next episode and this is our great master that's the master yodai <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's Max, right? So we got Max there, the United Max. Wow. Alright, so that's all for this episode. I'm really glad to share with you and then please subscribe, share to the others. And see you on the next trip. Go on to Honolulu with the 737-900TR.